Hello everybody, my name is Karibro, welcome back to Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I'm gonna hit the button now and go to this thing, because there's a skill tree. And I want to know what the skill tree does. So, we have movement, attack, and other. And it looks like I need to have something, either one point in technique or one point in everything to unlock that other tree. So, team jump is active. Dash is active. These are movement abilities. We just have these to begin with. Good to know. Everybody has these to begin with. Cool. Uh, blaster, more mid-range weapon, fires one round at a time. So that's something that both Mario and Rabbit Peach have, is the blaster. I like that they give custom screenshots for it, though. That's really nice. Shield. Limits damage taken. Mario's is Hero Sight. Bonus attack. Rabid Ouija gets his super barrier. Re oh, it does reduce regular damage. I didn't know that. Didn't say that on the thing. I would have been using it way more often. Warb is one round at a single target with lots of side effects. And Ouija has team jump and dash, of course. A long range weapon that fires one round at a single target, so he is kind of sniperish. And Steely Stare. This bonus attack is a long-range reaction shot. So, Luigi's got the same thing as Mario does, but just with his sniper range. That's cool. Yeah, it is. It's the same icon, too. Okay, so what about the next thing up? Stomp Jump. An attack at an enemy's head following a team jump. Afterwards, Mario lands on a nearby cell. All right, I can only buy one of these, though. Increase Mario's weapon damage along with the damage caused by any heroes in range. So that's just a boost, like a power-up. And melee hit multiple targets at once. Ooh, does everybody unlock a melee option? No, Rabbit Peach gets a sentry. So the only thing Rabbit Peach can buy right now is nothing. Great. Dash more than one enemy while on the move. That could be good. Sentry's cool. Remote bomb is nice. Health point. Oh, there's the heal. That's the first thing. That's the first thing she's getting her spent on. Rabid Ouija can't get either of these, but he could get weaken enemies. All right, so that's a debuff. Ouija gets... Yeah, Steely's... Oh, no, wait. He has Steely Stare already. Itchy feet. Area of movement is increased. That's very expensive. Ah, Luigi can get his sentry right now. Team jump with two he- Oh, these skill trees look pretty interesting already, and I'm only on the first round. I'm not going to look up at all the things that are possible later on, even though I'm kind of flipping through them right now, just because I want those to, like, remain surprises as I gain access to them. At, 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 and at the very least, like, I want to get all of their base abilities here first, because these seem really good, and they're what open up the rest of them. So, I think I'll get that sentry for Ouija. Never stops chasing its target, it'll detonate when, it's get, when it gets close, and it can be destroyed. Cool, so Ouija got a new ability. And for Mario, I will get him his melee dam- Ooh, wait, no. Actually, this stomp jump seems like a uniquely Mario thing. So I'm gonna spend that one, because I am using team jumps a lot, and the ability to land on enemies could do more damage. And Rabid Peach can't buy anything, but Rabid Ouija, I could either wait for Vamp Dash, Rocket, or, all right, I, I think I'm gonna wait, because Weaken does not seem anywhere near as good as these two. So the Rabbids will hold off for a little bit. Team selection. You don't have a heal yet, so I'm going to drop you for now, Rabid Peach. I'm going to grab the two things that have my hat on them. <laughs> grab the Ouija's. Wow, Luigi is actually very fragile. These two are frontline fighters. They have 220. Rabid Ouija's status uh, type guy. He's got 200, and Luigi's very definitely a fragile uh, glass cannon. He's only got 130. His dash does regular damage. He does have a secondary weapon now, and the same amount of movement as everybody else. Weapon selection. Everybody has some guns now, but I need to unlock something new for Rabbit. I not 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 for Rabbit, not for Rabbit, just for Ouija. Now I'm actually gonna have to like differentiate them. Enemies whining, tell him to suck it up. Ah, 
Because it's a vacuum, because he did Luigi's Mansion. I like that they've just attributed vacuums to Luigi now as a general character trait. So, ink chance and bounce damage. Also available in sport packages, nice. Muffler shuffler, or the prime mover. So what is ink? Ink damage is prevents affected combatants from performing any action requiring a weapon attack. So it blinds them. I kind of like that, honestly. It like prevents them from attacking me in any way. Bounce seems cool, but I want to grab the ink damage. Yeah, grab that. Equip it, yes. As for secondary, the only thing you have unlocked is this standard one here. So it's got 45 to 55. Long range. Wow, it can hit 15 cells away, that's nice. Only one turn cooldown. 150 health points, so I guess that means like from overwatch damage, like if anything wants to attack it on its way to its target. Or, okay, okay, I see what this is. The sentry can move six cells in a turn, but it will target and I guess be automated for 15 cells of range. So within three turns, it'll hit its target. Interesting, I like, I like. And I think that that's, oh, oh right, we unlocked some more weapons. I can't buy any of them though, so. I guess I'll check back here once I have the money for it. Let's bail. Go do some more running around. Actually, hold on, this is bugging me. Hmm. Grab Luigi first and then rabid Luigi. It's not gonna happen. Damn it, I wanna get Luigi right behind me. I wanna try switching in the other way. Grab Rabbit Luigi first and then Luigi. Hit yes. It appears to just be ordered in the way that they go down the roster. You can't you can't order them the way you want. That sucks. I want that amount of control. <laughs> Any new flavor stuff? Flavor? Oh, no flavor here. Wait, there's some flavor. You've got to admire their dedication to hiding. They look very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. Just kind of wiggling their little pig's feet there. Don't you even tell me those are rabbit's feet. Those are definitely pig's feet. They're tiny and flat and they're wiggly. All they need is a little curly tail. All right, cool. Some actual environment to explore and get some coins and stuff in again. So where's the first switch? I know your games and your tricks now, game. There we go, first switch. Do you think there was some more green over in the other area? Because this is just a special stage. I say just. I'm minimizing it. Special stages give us good stuff. I think I remember getting a weapon at the last one. Alright, book it straight over here first. Hit this switch. Then we make it back. Get, get, get in the pipe, Beepo. I wonder how hard these are gonna get. Spike strike. Really angry spikes when all this is over. Maybe I should hold on to all of my weapon purchases for like one battle after when I think I should do them. Because that's twice now. Alright, there's got to be another green switch that fell in this direction. Here it is. So this blue switch, this is the obvious effect that you're just supposed to be like, oh cool, I got some coins. But the real intended effect is this one over here. This is where you open up your second switch. Same deal, you see that? They were clever about it. They showed this one dropping, but they also showed this one popping up. You know, you could help us save the Mushroom Kingdom instead of just lounging around. Hello? Hello? They're not listening, Beepo. Although, to be honest, if I was hanging around on that sunflower in the sun, that water lily with a sponge in it, I probably wouldn't get up either. That looks really warm and comfy and cozy. Those rabbits have got it made. Now I pop into this cannon, launches me over here, hit red switch. 
which I believe will open up that other segment that I already passed over. What's this? What, what, what is this? It's making a poof. Ah, oh, I have to push the block onto it. Gotcha. Still haven't learned how to use your hand that you don't have, Beepo. <sighs> your disappointment to the family, Beepo. Wow. Yeah, oh. Glad you're having fun, Luigi. <laughs> All right, over here, red coins. That's what it is. I bet there'll be red coins in there. At least one. It's going to lead me back to it. Okay, so they are going to start getting tricky with these placements. That's good. I like it. I'm glad that it's not just going to be a straight line every time. But they do seem to have removed any element of timing to it. Or like a timer. I say as they immediately start a countdown. Wow. Hmm. All right, what did I miss? Being extra careful, I don't see nothing back here. Means I probably blew this round, actually. Yeah, I can only find six of them, huh? I'm gonna figure this out. This is still in world one. I refuse to believe that I'm honestly stumped by this red coin puzzle. <laughs> Aha, got him. That's five. Six. Come on, seven. Eight. There it goes. And now the golden one shows up inside of there. Finally. This better be worth it. This better be some kind of amazing weapon. I want to shoot Spooge. <laughs> Bowser Basher. Maybe he'll even get a smack Bowser with his own hands. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> eh, it's not quite Spooge, but it'll do the trick. All right. Well, let's finally move on towards the next battery. World 1-6, on the bubble. Ah, it's a pun. It's a pun of on the double. Do you get it? Do you, do, do you get it? Do you get it? Puns are super unfunny and not clever. A good reminder to never sit on the side of a hill without a door wedge under your butt. <laughs> Bolt, what? Wait. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, legitimately hilarious. All right, let's do this fight. See how uh, regular Ouija wants to handle. Another defeat all. Let's prepare for Bataru. So, I see a guy here. I see a guy here. A bit of a pipe leading up to the next area, and then... Oh, there's six enemies. Right, so there's three up there. And I see only two down here. Where's the last one at? There's one. There's two. Three. He was hiding behind that block. Four, five, six. Got him. Okay, cool. So I'll have to take out these ones in the front first. Well, I mean, obviously they're closer, but I just mean like higher priority. So I actually kind of want to try Mario's new bounce ability. And in that vein, I think what I'm going to do is have Rabid Weege step up here. I'll have Weege, who has two abilities for attack, the sentry or the sniper. But the cover doesn't change, it's still either 100 or 50. And he's got a super long range, so it's actually probably not a good idea to get him up close. I want to keep him far back. Yeah, look at that damage range. Yes, and the sentry just sort of chooses a target.
Sure, do this. See what happens with it. Oh, yeah. Go again. That was a nice animation. Sort of flipped up on his cover and stepped on the on the button. I like, I like. All right, Ouija, you're probably still just safest right there, so. I'll set you up a steely stare. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Mario come and do a quick little bouncy bounce on this guy. And then have you take full cover behind this. 30 damage, that is not insignificant. Then you take a free pot shot at this guy. Sure, it's a defeat all, so the more shots I shoot out, the better it is for everybody. And maybe, Rabid Luigi, if the world is just, you'll be able to finish this guy off. I'm getting a cutscene, so I think... There you go, shot to the face. Front two are dead, right off the bat. And now that things have cleared up a little bit, Luigi should be a little bit safer to move up. All right, enemy turn. Bring it on. So that's a one shot, but he's just a bit too far away for Luigi to hit. Works for me, I got everybody behind full cover. Look at that range. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> So even that's a little bit too close. Too close for comfort. Your uh, sentry is currently on cooldown and your sniper, wow, really? So the Steely Stare seems to have even more range than his regular gun does because I can't hit the guy up top anymore, but I could hit him when he was running around. All right, make this shot. No makey this shot. Better than nothing. Hop yourself up behind some full cover here. Wow. I'll have Mario come up and actually, can Rabid Ouija get close enough? You can't bounce on people, so no you cannot. And Mario can't launch you up to the next area, so I think it's best for you to probably take up Mario's spot. Back to Mario. So if I wanted to dash through you, I can only dash through one enemy, and if I'm gonna do that... I kinda wanna dash through the one up top. Even though that won't kill him. Okay, new plan here. I'm gonna move, I gotta dash through this guy. Then I'll come up here, take cover, and then take a shot. Cause my gun will do enough damage to kill this guy with how little health he's got regardless. It's pointless to waste the dash on him, is I think what I'm coming to on a conclusion here. There we go, perfect. And Rabid Weed, you can take a spot right over here and hopefully get a critical burn and knock this guy out of commission. The world is a cruel and unforgiving mistress. <laughs> so we just still got the full cover there. It's okay to attract a few shots from these guys. That's less good though. I guess I shouldn't get quite so nervous. Luigi still has some HP. It's not like he takes one point and dies. So who's in range for you? You can't hit that guy. You can hit that guy with 100% chance. Good, take the shot. Pity you wasted your critical on that. What's a golden shot? Why is there a whole bunch of coins there? What is a golden shot? I must know. Okay, so that's two enemies down. This guy has a little bit of damage under his belt. Rabid Weege, it seems like, yeah, I'm probably gonna want to get him up there. Wait, defeat all, does that, does... 
the per big purple circles mean I have defeated four or that there's four left? Because I'm only spotting two. I think it means that there's that I've taken out four. Then I'll move Rabid Weege up to here. Still got your full cover. I don't think that guy over there should be able to shoot you because you've got the pipe a blocking line of sight. And Ouija cannot get close enough. Oh, wait. Okay, if I get Mario out of the way, then he can get up here. So I'll have Mario come up and slide. I'm still gonna wanna give him some amount of cover. This one's blocked by Rabid Weege. So I can only do one or the other. I can slide or I can bounce. And I think my slide does 20 while my bounce does 30. So I'm gonna do this instead. Cause then I can land and take him out with one shot. I'm starting to understand how things stack together here. Staboosh! How are you still alive? You shouldn't still be alive. This is unfair. <laughs> you have four HP, goddammit. Right, well, you're gonna have to pick and choose which one you want to attack, basically, so I don't mind. Of course, you're gonna go first, and you're gonna take a free shot on Rabid Weege. Look at him, he's so scared. Oh, okay. Right, you can't dash because you have the bubble, uh, not the bubble, the spring shoes. All right, so here we go. Mario, slide that guy, knock him out of commission. Take up position right next to this other one. Rumblebee, critical honey shot. You are teleported away, and that's that's a victory. We're done. We win. Four out of six turns. Man, I'm like getting perfect on all of these. I guess the game is still like kind of in its ramping up phase, which is understandable. I'm kind of surprised at the length of this world, though. Like this is a lot of battles for world one? As has been uh, the M.O. so far, I think what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to break this episode right here. It kind of sucks like that, that these episode breaks keep happening like right in the middle of the two battle set between trophies. Like I can't end an episode on a trophy. It's always that a trophy comes in the middle of an episode. But that's just kind of the way that things have been shaken out so far. Maybe later on when battles start taking a little bit longer and they get spaced out a little bit more, we'll be able to fall into a groove like that. But for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button down below. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Right. Share the series around with anybody else you know who you think might like this kind of thing. This kind of tactics gameplay. I think the best thing about this kind of game is that you can watch it a dozen different times and it'll always be different because you get to see how people handle the situations in their own unique way, especially when things start getting more complicated. But I accidentally triggered the next fight, so I'm gonna end this. You got a spoiler, I guess. There's gonna be a chain chomp next time. <laughs>